Hey everybody, I'm George Conley from Scratch Golf Tips, and today I'm talking about training aids. There's all kinds of training aids out there, from very inexpensive to very expensive, so I'm going to be talking about my opinions on them and uh, where you can find them, which ones you should be getting for certain aspects of your game. All that information and more right here in this video, so stay tuned. <music> To start off, I'll just give my simple answer to our training aids worth it. The answer is it depends. There are all different kinds of training aids for all different kinds of aspects of your game. Um, the $200 training aids, you know, the ones that have maybe the really large ones that have your entire swing playing through the ball. The way I see it is those are rarely worth it and I'll tell you my reasoning. If you're spending $200 on a training aid that only benefits probably one part of your game, why would you do that when you can potentially go to a local pro and get two or three lessons with them? When I, I, I always recommend lessons over an expensive training aid because lessons, this guy can give you drills, he can give you advice that you don't see, he can give you knowledge you don't know. So I would always advise you take a lesson over spending a ton of money on just some training aid. Now with that being said, there are a ton of inexpensive training aids that can really help your game. The only thing you need to keep in mind is don't buy a training aid if you don't need it. It may sound simple, but don't be getting a tr an anti-slice training aid when you don't even suffer from a slice in golf. You need to find a training aid that matches the issues you're having in golf. So I've got a bunch of training aids right in front of me and I'm gonna show you each one. I'll talk about where to find some of these and if they're worth it. The first aid I'm gonna be talking about is this, uh, this swing corrector. It helps with your wrist position in the backswing. Um, this is one that I you may see on my Instagram sometimes, but the way that you attach this, you just take any club, there's a little clip right here that you open up, and then you just clip it right on to the club. Um, this is a very inexpensive tool. You can find it all over the place. There's a link in the bio for this tool in particular. Um, this was sent to me by, by my friend over at At The Turn Golf. The link to that, and he also sent me another training aid that I'll be showing you. These are very inexpensive, and if you struggle with wrist positioning, maybe you cock your wrist too much and it leads to a hook, this is a great way to do it. Now, I'll tell you why I recommend this. Something like wrist positioning isn't something a lot of people think about. It may be overlooked, but it's not as easy as just figuring out how to maneuver your wrists. It's, it's, very, it's very tricky to figure that out. So what I recommend is maybe getting a training aid like this, again, it won't, it won't cost you a ton of money because these are fairly inexpensive. Basically, you just attach it like this, and then in your backswing, when you bring the club back, if you cock your wrist too much, this will go into your forearm like so, and you can't cock your wrist like, like you normally would back here. So this is, it's simple to attach, it's not hard to figure out, it's only a couple of bucks and then it, it gets rid of that wrist cock and it actually puts you in a pretty solid position in your backswing right here. So that is the first training aid. The link is in the bio for the At The Turn Golf. I'll be showing you the second one, which I also think is a good one just because it's pretty diverse. This is a simple one. It's just this band right here and it has, uh, it has two slots right, right like this. So this can work for a number of reasons. If you put the band over both of your arms in a swing, I'll just take my putter here. So in your putter, it, it, the, the stroke usually comes from your shoulders. It shouldn't be coming from your wrists or your arms coming out like this. So you can't see my putter here, but the stroke should just be this. It's all in the shoulders. So but by putting this on, it can help your putting stroke. And people always talk about the, the V formation from your forearms down into your, uh, down into your grip. If you're coming out like this and having a really awkward swing and transition, this is a training aid that can definitely stabilize these, these arms and, and keep them from flaring out. So you can give a nice easy swing and keep that uniform V through the ball. So those are two training aids, link and bio from At The Turn Golf. You can pick them up, both inexpensive, both very useful. Another training aid that a lot of people have and you probably have seen quite a bit around is a putting mirror. Um, you can actually see the camera right there. But what a putting mirror essentially does is you put the ball in this little crevice right here and then you just go through the ball with your putter. This has all these lines on it obviously. It's kind of difficult to see but 
it's got these lines on it which shows you your putter path because you know you never want like a crazy out to in putter path this keeps you on a uniform path also with this reflection if you're standing over the ball you can you should be able to see your eyes in the putting mirror this helps for alignment it helps with the way that your eyes are over the ball your club path if you're really struggling with putting this is very inexpensive you can find this all over the place just look up putting mirror you'll find it for what I would assume under $15 maybe even under $10 this is very good for putting. People don't focus on putting very much. A lot of uh, training aids are not putting related. This is one of the best putting related training aids. It really helps get a uniform stroke, a consistent stroke. So I would always recommend picking up a putting mirror for your putting practice. And now for the final training aid that I'll be showing you. Um, I don't think training aids are for everybody, but this is one training aid that is absolutely for everyone. It's the least expensive training aid. It's alignment rods. Um, I have two red ones here that I picked up for, I believe, $2.50 for both of them. Th these are $1, and they're, they're the most useful, absolutely hands down. If you don't have alignment rods and you're looking to practice your game and get better, you need, you need alignment rods. I th I'm thinking about doing an entire video just on alignment rods because they're so useful. But let me just show you a couple of uses here. The first one is obvious. Just putting this rod on the ground at your feet and making sure that you're pointed at the target. These are pretty long. I'd say these are probably four feet tall. Um, and they also have this spiked end at the back. What I use this spiked end for is I'll stick this into the ground at about a 45 degree angle towards me. And sometimes if my swing is a bit out of proportion, I'll swing over the ball and that'll lead to a, a bit more of a fade than I want. If I stick this in the ground, I'll swing under the ball and through the ball and I'll hit a nice drop like I want to. So that's two ways of using this. Another way, some people will stick this in their belt loops and then they'll just feel that this needs to be parallel to behind them for a, a better hip turn. You, you can just put it through your belt loops and feel that rotation there. There are so many different uses for alignment rods. So I would always recommend getting, I, I have two of them just because I usually like to have one on the ground and then another one I like to have somewhere else on, maybe it's, it's in my belt buckle, it's painted uh, face towards me. There are so many uses for these. Pick these up, they are very inexpensive. There it is, that's my take on all training aids in golf. Some can be really good for you. The really expensive ones, I would personally recommend you just take that to a local golf pro, get a couple good lessons and get a better feel for your game. I've got links in the description to the at the turn golf ones that I showed you. I'll probably link to just an inexpensive putting mirror and I will link to some alignment rods on eBay or something. So if you're looking to pick any of these up, um, just go down below in the description. Again, these are inexpensive training aids that will really help your game. Thank you very much for watching this YouTube video. I appreciate it. Uh, on the left side of your screen, you should see a button to subscribe to the Scratch Golf Tips YouTube channel. We're posting two or three times a week. If you're looking to improve your golf game, this is the place to be. On the right side of your screen, you should see a video that YouTube has recommended you watch. I encourage you to do so. Thank you very much for watching once again. Play well and take care.